Hello folks. I would guess anyone who's listened to the video I did last night, the one about nobody needs you to pray for them, prayer is for you. I imagine a lot of people consider that as heresy of some sort. Yes. <laughs> well, the first point in answer to that is have a look at Genesis. Have a look at the first few bits of Genesis. God created the heavens. He created the earth. He created the sky. He created the seas. He created the mountains. He created the animals. He created the plants and the birds and the bees. He did all of that without us praying. All of that without us doing anything whatsoever. And yet we think that God needs our help. There's a young boy who's sick. Or well, when whatever the other situation is. That God needs our help. Okay. And the other point with regards to praying for a new job, a new car, doing your fasting, doing your tithing, doing your whatever. The whole idea that God is waiting to do something nice for you until you've done all these things and ticked all these boxes. Yeah, okay. For God sent his only begotten son. That whoever should believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life. How many boxes did you have to tick for that? None. But it's a church understanding. If you want A, then you have to do B, C, and D to get A. Hmm. That is very much of this world, because in the world, if you want a new car, you have to get a job, you have to save up money. You have to think ahead and plan ahead and do all of that to get that new car. So your tithing, your fasting is just doing all of that. You're still having to work for it. Well, if you had you have to imagine God as, in this sense, in the given sense, as a person who owns everything in the world. Everything. He owns it. Every single thing. Right? He loves you so much. He wants to show the world how much he loves you. Right? He certainly wants to show those people that don't know him yet, that he is a loving, generous, caring God. So, when you ask him for good things, yeah, doesn't the word of God say that? That when you ask for some bread, you don't get a piece of coal. If God knows how to give good things to them, then surely he knows how to good, give good things to you. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. So this whole point about prayer. Prayer is about relationship. That's what it's about. It's purely about relationship. It's about you going to talk to God and learning to talk to God. Learning not only to say, but also to be led. Not only to be led, but how to listen. Because you have to listen to be led, but you also have to listen to... If you're asking God a question, you have to listen for that answer. Because in 
in olden times, people thought that if God spoke, it would be this booming voice. It won't. It won't. If God, Unless God is speaking to you and he wants everyone else to know that you're in relationship with him and he's speaking to you, then the voice would be really, really quiet because it's for you. It's not for everyone else. The booming voice is for everyone. So that everyone will marvel. But if you're asking God a question, why does everyone else need to marvel? They don't. So therefore, there won't be a booming voice. It'll be a very soft, gentle voice. Very quiet. God is not going to try and push and fight. And... Yeah, fight through all these other things to get your attention. Yeah, that is not his desire to do that. He has no desire to push and, yeah, to do all that. So, yeah. You get this very, very quiet voice. Like I said, that's the thing. It's about listening. It's about learning to listen. Learning to hear. Learning to be guided. So that when you say something and when you speak, you're giving something of worth. Let's like say, I mean, if the people in church, let's like say the River Church is a prime example, but it's not just them, but every church I've been to, you've had these people. Um, there's a lady there who is a very animated lady, nice enough person, single lady, I do believe. Um, but hey ho but again in, in the meetings when she prays she goes on and on and on and on and on and on and on she just doesn't stop and she goes on so much that it is impossible for anyone to agree with what she's saying therefore everything she says is worthless Absolutely worthless. Anyone who prays like that, anyone who does these big Hollywood charismatic prayers, listing a thousand things, it's all about them. Because, as I say, the word of God says, with two or more agree on one thing that I shall do, well, you have to agree. You have to agree. So if you're praying and you list two things, maybe three things, you know, maybe people can agree. But again, this one, make it easy for people to agree. You know, don't use complicated words. Don't try and be clever. Keep it very simple, you know, your prayer, so that people can understand and they can agree with that. Anyone trying to be clever, oh my God, don't do that. Because you know, if, if I've got to try and work out what you were saying before I can agree, by the time I've worked that out, we've moved on to someone else praying. I'm not going to focus on what they're saying, so I still can't say amen to what you, what you said. So, yeah. I mean, for me, prayer meetings are, yeah... I mean, generally speaking, they're absolutely worthless. The, the way they've been done over the years, completely and utterly worthless. Because they don't seem to serve a purpose. It'd be great if you had a pastor and a teacher who could go up to people after a prayer meeting and say, Look, I'm a bit concerned about the way you were praying there. I think you were being led by self, not by God. You need to work on that. That'd be great. Yeah, we could we could use that to learn and to grow and to develop and yeah, to be taught. Fantastic. But as they won't do that, yeah. You just have yeah, the soul screaming out for attention. Love me, I know wonderful, I know good, look at how long I can pray. Look at all these things I can mention as things that I, I things that I care about. Yeah, sorry. If you cared about it properly, you would do it properly. 
So there you go. You take care. God bless. I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye.